Hey guys, my name is Joe Wolfboy and welcome to another Wolfboy video. So today we will be unboxing the Hamilton Beach Electric Kettle. This is the 1 liter stainless steel edition. So, what, and I'm gonna just bump the camera there, so. What I thought was, this would be great for college students, and since college is back in session after this video actually goes up, and I may actually upload it without any editing, I'm not sure yet. Um, I may actually tinker around with iMovie on my iPhone. Not sure how well that will go. But this is, <laughs> I bought it, well, my grandfather bought it for us for about 20 bucks. So, plus shipping, of course. So I'll include the Amazon affiliate link for us down in the description below so that you guys can check this out because this is amazing. Um, they did have a plastic version that was 1.8 liters, um, but personally, smaller the better, especially when you're in a dorm. So I've already pre-cut this so that it's easy just to pop open, but let's first go around the box. All right, so the front, it basically just goes over some very uh, different aspects as far as what it looks like on the bottom and that it has almost dropped it there I assume this will be the item number I dropped it almost dropped it again easy pour spout auto shot off with boil dry protection um, concealed heating element and a water level window which is awesome um, and it comes with the filters which I assume that you can buy these extra, like you can buy extra versions of them. Not exactly sure how that looks for you guys, but all right. Um, and this is actually the Spanish side, so let's flip that over to the English side. So if you understand Spanish, there you go, and then there's your side for that. But if you don't understand Spanish and you understand English, this will be the one for you. So you have your illuminated on-off switch, you have your removable mesh filter, which I assume goes in there. You have your push button lid, your easy pour spout, and the auto shut off, which I assume just clicks it off as soon as the heating element detects that the water is a certain level. The water level window, which I assume will also be on the other side, and then the concealed heating element plugs in to the base. So yeah, and then more good thinking. So let's go ahead and crack open the box. Just gonna pop this open. So once you open up the box, you get more box. And then you can just lift out that that portion of the box and then just toss it off to the side. So and you get more part of the box deeper in. Just toss that off to the side. Very poorly. So I assume this is the heating pad. It's really like nice and styrofoamy. So yeah, this is actually really portable. I think um, because you can just like wind it up and then just take it wherever you want to go so yeah just like that and you can even go like that and then boom boom right there this would be perfect to take to different parties and such so yeah not that college parties usually have tea I have alcohol and stuff but I wouldn't know because I'm at home doing college so yep there's that and then the main show which is right here and then we're just gonna toss oh can't forget the instructions and probably warranty yeah throw that off the side and then we can just rip this open with some tape there and Oh, there we go. All right, so we have your on-off switch down here. Nice, satisfying click. Yep. Oh, nice. So if you click on this, this button right here, boom, right open. Now, obviously, I'm going to remove the sticker faster than a microwave, safer than a stovetop kettle. Yep, going to remove that because that is just killing the aesthetics of this. So, I mean, you bought it for the stainless steel. Why would you put a sticker on it? And it actually removes actually really clean. So, this is actually a nice feeling sticker. I like the feel of it. So, 
As a general rule, keep most boxes for a little bit after you've started using it for, I'd say, about a month after you bought it, just so that you can keep the box just in case you need to take it back to the store. That's my personal opinion, but you do what you guys feel like. So just taking your, you around the, um, the I call it a device, the heating, I mean, I've you know, already shown the heating element, but going around the uh, actual, what is this even? The uh, thing, uh, the kettle, there, the kettle. Um, you have your pop open button right on the top, and then you have your door. Inside you have your removable, as soon as I can actually remove it. It's a, they're assuming that you're smart enough to know how to remove it. So, you kind of just maybe don't remove it. Yeah, apparently you just don't remove it. Yeah, I'm assuming that you can remove it, but... Oh, yep, there you go. You just have to push down on these clamps right here on the outside. And then it comes off. So yeah, there's your filter, and that will filter your water, especially if you're in a very uh, <laughs> dirty area, like um, no offense to those who live in Detroit, um, but this would actually be great for you, or even, uh, yeah, I, I was about to say Mexico, but you guys probably just buy bottled water, because I've seen some of the videos of that stuff. Anyway, now that I've offended half my viewers... Um, go go back to the back. You have your handle and a very poorly placed um, meter, which I understand why they put it there behind here. Like you can barely see it. Um, I understand why they did that. So, again, so that they don't ruin the aesthetics of the stainless steel. But, or yeah, stainless steel. But what I don't like is because you can't really, like, you're going to be looking at it like this. You have to now look at it at an angle. And any person who's in any chef class knows that the meniscus, if you look at it at an angle, it's going to be slightly uh, tilted. So it's going to be a little bit different. And then obviously have your on-off switch on the, on the bottom portion of that. So, yeah, yeah. I This is actually something that I really don't like about it. And on the bottom, you have your uh, stands that kind of just easily lay on to that. And I assume that, yeah, it doesn't really lock in. It kind of just sits. And I assume once you turn it on, yeah, once it once you turn it on, it actually locks. So and what's cool is if you lock it, but then lift it, it turns off the heating element. So that's kind of cool that it uses that type of... Uh, connector. So what will be interesting to see is if it will actually do what it's supposed to. So yeah, this is just a little simple thing that you can buy. I just figured, you know, this channel is kind of a reviewish channel. So this is something that would go great in a college student's dorm or honestly in any home. Um, if you like tea or coffee. Um, this is more for like instant coffee, but if you like uh, tea mostly, definitely can go, uh, you can't go wrong with this. Um, so yeah, if you guys want me to do more reviews like this, um, sadly I'm not really in the market right yet for kitchen appliances. I may be in the next few months, but and as of right now I'm not. So if you guys want more reviews like this, definitely leave me a comment below. Um, if you guys liked it, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. You also know if you didn't like it, please tell me why in the comments below. And as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.